Hey guys, hope everything's wonderful. Okay, so one of the most important aspects of a strong group base is having as many beds as possible for raid defense. So long as you have respawns, you're in the game. Also, having space-efficient bedrooms means you can allocate remaining space to more honeycomb and have a stronger base, more loot rooms, better mobility or just more bedrooms. Today I'll show you some of the most space-efficient bedrooms in this wonderful game of Rust. So let's make it short and sweet. I'd like to actually start with the single most efficient bedroom design. This one's my favorite. To build this one, you just need to have three triangles free somewhere in your base. Wall them in like so, with the garage door on the left, roller side out. The first bed goes tightly against the right wall. The second one as straight as possible from the wall to the door. If done right, a locker will fit here and a small box there. Drop boxes are optional, I mean kind of expensive. What's important is that nothing sticks through the door, as it won't protect anything that clips through it. This has to be my favorite bedroom to use in my larger builds. Sometimes I like adding an unlootable locker on the left, because there's nothing more annoying than a failed offline raid still making it out with your kits. Oh, and of course, you can flip the layout if necessary. Now this one, it surprised me that it's even possible. You can basically plop these guys down in almost every build. Again, just need some precision. Garage door goes first, then locker snug against the right wall. And try to fit the bed within the triangle as much as possible. It'll clip a bit over the triangle, but don't worry, the door will cover it. A campfire for some extra storage and see, nothing clipping through. And yeah, these little guys just fit anywhere. The third bedroom I like using is actually pretty standard, but with a nasty little twist. Oh, the number of raid defenses we've won with surprise turrets. Again, simple, but needs precision. First the door. Locker goes snug against the right wall, bed tight against the left wall. The turret should be positioned like this, with the legs slightly clipping out of the room. Nothing should clip through the door though. If done right, a barbecue will fit between bed and locker, along with two small boxes. Now this one is interesting for a flank base design or a raid base, requires some precision as well. The way forward here is to start with this locker. Try not moving your mouse so that you maintain a straight alignment and just ram the bed into the locker. Then another. The third and fourth are a bit more finicky but there we go. From here the last three lockers are easy, just make sure to rotate the last two so that the key locks are always accessible. Yep, that works. So these are definitely my go-to's and I hope these ideas will help you squeeze out the most utility out of your build cost budget so that you can play more and farm less. Also, from my experience, if you design your base around very efficient loot rooms and bedrooms rather than just adding them wherever, you'll tend to end up with stronger builds, having better utility and more space for honeycomb. So that's all for today, goodbye for now and blessed be.